will fight in the works over the leadership of the California's Democratic Party. The Democrats met this weekend in Sacramento, and while they may be united against the Republicans in Washington, KPIX 5's Melissa Kane found that's where the unity ends. I'd like to offer my welcome to the hundreds of Bernie Kratz who are. Team Bernie Sanders squared off against Team Hillary Clinton at the state Democratic convention this weekend. While united against Donald Trump, the California Democrats showed a serious philosophical divide. Here is Sanders supporter Roseanne DeMauro of the California Nurses Association. If you dismiss progressive values and reinforce the dynamic status quo, don't assume the activists in California or around this country are going to stay with the Democratic Party. People who are enthusiastically willing to leave the party is not what one usually sees at a party convention. But this is an unusual year. President Trump is in the White House, and that's a fact that many Sanders and Clinton supporters somewhat blame on each other. And this year, the godfather of the California Democratic Party, John Burton, is stepping down. Now are you f***ing happy and be courteous to the speakers? The race to be the new chair of the state Democratic Party turned into a proxy battle of sorts between progressives and liberal Democrats. On one side, Eric Bowman, a longtime party activist with high profile endorsements. On the other side, Kimberly Ellis, a newcomer favored by Bernie Kratz. Both candidates said this race is about more than California. We all know that California must lead the resistance today. And that it's up to California to define the progressive agenda, not just for our state, but for the entire nation. Make no mistake about it, California. At this moment, all eyes are on us. The country is waiting to see what we do next because California doesn't follow the trends, we set the trends. Even just walking around the convention, you could see Bowman supporters and Ellis supporters having heated exchanges and arguments, so emotions were running pretty high. At the end of the day, about 3,000 ballots were counted, and Bowman won by 60 votes, although Ellis has not conceded the race. She says there may have been some voting irregularities, and she's consulting with attorneys. Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.